All right, so if this is your first time coming to the channel, um, just a little backlog. We have been working on this 1985 uh, Honda Aero 50, turn it into a tact conversion, full Japanese conversion, all that good stuff. Um, this is gonna be kind of part two into reassembling everything, and I guess we can kind of talk more about the scooter specifically. So in my last video, you guys kind of saw the full assembly of kind of the more, I wouldn't say aesthetically nice looking bits. Um, you know, motor, just kind of lines, wiring harness, all that good stuff. Um, you know, just making sure everything is really good underneath, um, you know, all the plastics and all that, just making sure it's as clean as possible. So today's gonna be a little bit more exciting, maybe some more physical changes. Um, you know, I got my tack plastics here. Thankfully, I've already rib nutted a lot of stuff, so there's not gonna be a lot of me, you know, trying to figure out where to aim stuff up. Um, so a lot more bolting right up since I've kind of test fitted these already. There are a couple things I did need from Japan that I finally got over here just um, while I was gone from my trip. So now that I am back, I can install those. We can kind of go through that, see how it goes, and um, just kind of give you guys the rundown on what's going on. So in my last video, um, I actually put this battery box in, but I'll show you guys, I actually found one in Japan. Um, really nothing special to it, except that I didn't even realize that these things Came with a lid, you can see there's tabs for it right here, um, until I got Michaela's. So I found one that was uh, an actual Japanese one, which didn't really make a difference, but I knew it was an easier place to find it. Um, one with a lid, not gonna really show you guys that, anything special, so we can just... So something really important with these kits to kind of keep note of just in case you're interested in doing something like this. Um, the aero panels actually sit lower in just this specific part. Um, normally what you should do is buy some kind of um, extended stud. Honda used to make them, but they're discontinued OEM. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but I actually put riv nuts in this. Um, so, if we get our wing right here, slide that right over. I can actually take a um, button head Allen bolt. Unfortunately, these ones are all I had. Super rusty, I know. Um, but go right in there, and then, you know, once I find the spot for it, tighten it right up. Uh, won't stick out it'll sit more flush and all that good stuff and like I said I already kind of riveted everything here so you can see I did a spot right there so obviously the fitment's gonna be better once I futz with it a little um, but we we are definitely getting there so that's that's so awesome
So to make a long story short about kind of why in the last video, you know, it was a little brief saying how I was having a little bit of problems with, um, you know, the motor running. Essentially, um, we figured out that the carb that I had I didn't rebuild it, but it was rebuilt wrong. Um, probably from like a previous owner or something, but we found even components like missing inside the carburetor. Basically it was putting so much gas in it that just to have enough air for it to run, um, it needed to be like at full throttle. Now, if you understand carbs, it kind of makes sense. Carbs are been really confusing. It's definitely been a lot of a learning journey with stuff like that. Um, so pretty much we swapped the carb out and this thing, as you saw, runs beautifully. Shout out to Gensky House for, well, first off, helping me so much with trying to get all of this stuff figured out. It's definitely been quite the learning journey. Um, you know, just such a new platform to learn on going from motor-wise to different cultures and stuff like that. And I definitely didn't want to do anything wrong. Um, so yeah, just kind of taking a look at everything. Um, I got the Gensky House wing the under cowl and as well as the headlight cowl here um you know giving it that nice aggressive look so definitely some really high quality parts here didn't have an issue with fitting or anything like that you know and as good as this thing looks right now it's kind of just the equivalent of putting you know some some overs and maybe a kit on kind of like a s chassis and something like that so it's not really you know my own yet but definitely has some a lot of good character to it i mean just looking at it right now that looks fantastic. So really excited about this. Um, definitely have a lot more to do um, just overall. So that kind of concludes the video about the scooter. Um, you know, overall, just kind of the full assembly put together. Like I said, definitely want a lot more work to do with it. Um, you know, and just kind of keep building content. I know my YouTube hasn't been fantastic at uh, keeping up with that, but I'm definitely trying my best. So. If you guys have any feedback, I always like to know, you know, what I did right, what I did wrong, you know, any suggestions, whatever it might be. Um, but kind of think about doing a build breakdown of the E36 since it was built, um, you know, when I kind of started the channel and stuff like that. So I'd love to go through everything, kind of tell you guys the whole story because it's, it's definitely a little bit more unique than any standard car. Um, you know, if there's anything else, just let me know. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Peace.